Finally, the Nothing Phone 1 has arrived here at my place in the United States. While I am a StockX first, well, last 100 bid winner, this is not from StockX, rather imported after using a VPN to order this, shipping it to a friend of a friend in the UK, and then ultimately my friend could then receive it in California and ship it to me in Michigan. After all of that, I was able to successfully import one before getting one through StockX for much less, mind you. More to come on the StockX ordeal when that arrives, whenever that arrives. For now, let's unbox the Black Nothing Phone 1. This is well packaged, which is much appreciated given the fragile contents traveling from afar. As I slice into these, I just want to note I'm super excited to try out the Nothing Phone one. While there's a ton of hype around this, I'm just genuinely excited to try something net new in today's market, especially given how limited the mobile market is here in North America. The box itself is very similar to the Ear One packaging. Tearing into the box is an experience as anticipation to dive right into the Nothing Phone continues to increase. First up, of course, we have the accessories, which includes a USB charging cable but also a very cool sim ejector tool not like the others that we typically find included with other mobile phones i really like the design of this sim ejector as small as this detail may seem it's cool nonetheless speaking of cool design though the nothing phone one looks incredible right out of the box as many noted it feels and looks like an iphone but of course even cooler with that glyph interface now, another thing I really wanted to note that's really cool that I didn't see on a lot of videos is that this actually has dual SIM capabilities. So when you're using this phone, you can use it with multiple SIM cards if you choose to do so. USB-C port, of course, then a speaker and or mic at the bottom here, and then the power button, which is reminiscent of iPhone. And then you can see the camera right here slightly protruding out of the back of the device. Now I'm going to quickly power up the Nothing Phone 1 and breeze through this setup a bit, so please bear with me. I love the dot matrix fonts throughout the UI that you get as soon as you power on. Hello, let's go ahead and jump in. So now I'm going to skip through this. I don't plan to copy any of my apps or data from other devices. I want to set this up brand new as I dive into the Phone 1 to get a real full experience. Now I did notice when I was setting this up that there is a film actually applied. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like a true screen protector, but it, there is a film there protecting that display display right out of the box, which is actually kind of nice to see considering that display again, I don't want to damage it. I don't want to get scratches. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to quickly use my Titan key here to authenticate as I type in my Google account credentials and verify. Then I'm going to set up a pin. So setting up a pin, I can now set up the fingerprint unlock and you can get a feel for what the fingerprint scanner is like on the Nothing Phone 1 right out of the box. It seems pretty smooth, a little bit of an awkward position. I wish it was just a little bit higher, but overall it's pretty solid. Choose the navigation and then swipe up to jump right into the device. The 120 Hertz display panel is fast, fluid, and smooth right away. Right out of the box, there's a software update, which is really great to see and to hear that Nothing is already Already updating the Nothing Phone 1. I really hope that these updates on the Nothing Phone continue consistently going forward. Enabling the Glyph interface here, it's already enabled out of the box, but I want to go through the ringtones. Now, I'm not going to play the ringtones if you want to hear them. There's plenty of other videos for that, but I wanted to show you what the lights look like on the back of the Nothing Phone 1 using the Glyph interface with the ringtone. So, you can set default ringtones for not only various contacts, or you can just have one global default ringtone and pattern on the back with the lights. You can also set notification sounds as well as notification patterns with the lights on the back. Looks pretty cool overall, but also in the camera app, if you go into the flash settings and you continue to select the flash, you'll get your standard flash, and then you'll also get the option to use the glyph interface as a sort of a ring light. And it looks really good. And I have to say right out of the box, the color of the lights looks it looks really solid, no yellowing, and no weird tint reported from, I know, some others that received their device. Mine looks good right out of the box. Now, speaking of the out-of-the-box experience, I have to say it feels very light in the hand and really solid overall. I'm really impressed with the build of the Nothing Phone 1 and look forward to seeing how it holds up long term. Enabling battery share as we have reverse wireless charging included, I'm going to quickly charge up my Nothing Ear 1s in matching black here. So cool. Love the Glyph interface so far. Let me know your thoughts, of course, in the comments down below on the Glyph interface gimmick, or do you think it's pretty neat and resourceful? I'm really enjoying the Nothing Phone 1 right out of the box, of course, so stay tuned, subscribe for more on the Nothing Phone, the Nothing Stock X bidding ordeal, and hit that like button. Thank you for watching, take care, and stay safe.